So the other day, I think it was like yesterday, Brie Larson made a YouTube channel. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure. At least I got the tweet for it. But I'm curious if it's going to be shit, if it's going to be cringy, or if she has some interesting things to say. Um, she got a lot of shit during the time that she was going to be Captain Marvel because of what she said at some, like, um, uh, like I think it was like an awards ceremony thing or whatever. Um, hating on all all men, talking about how more black people need to be in film, even though they make up like 14% of the population. So you're not going to have that um, ever. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and watch it just because I, I, I just want to see what it's about. She's pretty cute. I have to say, so it'd be nice if her attitude was as, as pleasing as her face. Hi, I'm Brie Larson. Oh, God. Hi, <laughs> I'm Brie Larson. I'm an actor. You might know me from Captain Marvel, or maybe you know me from nothing. Maybe you just randomly from the algorithm clicked on this, but regardless, hello, I'm starting a YouTube channel. She does seem more more attractive because I like videos like this where they... Um, I don't know, they, they keep their screw-ups at, like, the beginning, or they're just kind of, like, all over the place, or whatever. Um, it just seems, like, pretty r more real, and, uh, down to earth, I guess. Why am I starting a YouTube channel? Great question. YouTube has been a place that I have learned so much. Whether it's been, like, how to use my printer, or it's been watching, like, how to be a considerate activist, this is, like, the place to talk about things that are important and that matter. It doesn't mean that there isn't also silly content, that there's ways for me to express myself personally, but there will also be deep conversations, anti-racist rhetoric, inclusive content. So with all that said, deep conversations, anti-racist, <clears throat> racist rhetoric. The following video is just me getting warmed up and feeling this out and getting to talk with a lot of really brilliant, awesome creators. So here it is. Hello? Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Wait, I'm trying to figure out how to record this. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, quick, how do I do this? Oh, wait, I you're think recording. Am I recording? I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, so, if you can click on the bottom, I think there's a record button. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating. Hi. <laughs> Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Hi! Yay! Social interaction! Hi! Oh my gosh, you have a mustache! Check, check, hello? Oh! Hi! Oh, I should have fuck yeah! About this so that I would be more professional in this moment! And I'm getting red because I'm embarrassed to meet you because I've watched your videos and now we're talking and I... Oh! 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 oh. Wow! Okay. And then totally changed my perception. Oh, man. I feel bad about that comment. The shitty comment I made earlier. I wish her personality was as great as her face. I <sighs> During the whole Captain Marvel thing, she seemed like a total bitch. She really did. She seemed very, I guess, pretentious. Um, n not not as, as bad of a Karen... You know, as as much of a Karen, but wow, I'm excited. And and the swoozy thing, fucking yes, I fucking love swoozy. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's the reason why I started YouTube. And uh, yeah, it's all I have to say. I'm I'm very. Uh, this is like 21 minutes. I'll go for about 10 minutes. And then, you know, give my thoughts on the, on the thing. I'm going to watch the whole thing, but. <laughs> oh my God, well, I'm equally fangirling. Hi, I'm Wumpa. Very nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Wumpa. It's so nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Oh, your bookshelf is <laughs> oh my God, so thanks. crazy. Nope. Everyone says that when I zoom. It looks okay, like you're living cool in bookshelf. a crazy inception world. I know. Thank you. Yeah. I Hi, like Mom. that. It's cool. Hi. Wow. Kind of like that. <laughs> look dumb. <laughs> oh, me too. So I brought you here today because I've made 
a very important life decision and I'm starting a YouTube channel. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was when you could go like, wow! <laughs> I'm decided to start a <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh, congrats! <laughs> welcome, welcome! Welcome to YouTube! Thank you! Well, I think it's super exciting. And welcome to the internet family. This is a big step. I feel I'm of age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember when you turned 30 and you got your YouTube channel? I'm scared. I don't blame you. I'm pretty scared too. Damn, she's only 30? That's not bad. I'm reaching out to some YouTube creators that have been able to do what I think are really interesting, creative, and humane, empathetic things on, on the platform. And so I wanted to talk to you <laughs> to, to learn how to do it. So I can steal all of your ideas and have the most popular YouTube channel on earth. Smart strategy. <laughs> yeah, I'm very transparent about my evil plans. <laughs> so far, I I think I get a little bit more when she's being sarcastic. It doesn't seem as bad. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy this very much. I am going to subscribe. It is Brie Larson, and everybody hated on her, and I hated on her and stuff. And uh, I think people should be a little bit more forgiving. We, we can see how the rest of the channel goes. Because if it's anything like BuzzFeed, that's when people are going to really, really hate it. Like, see, this video has 22,000 22, dislikes. And it's really, it's really not bad. I know people are disliking the video because of her ideas and some of the stuff that she says. And um, what she did say before, before Captain Marvel. So I have to I have to say that um like I I'm kind of curious as to where this is going to go. I like it's not it's not too bad and she seems really down to earth and she seems you know a little bit more friendly. So um I I don't I don't know. It it just it doesn't it doesn't seem too bad. I'm not there at the 10 minute mark yet, but I'll I'll get there slowly, slowly but surely. I I'm, have not done anything right. I forgot to okay. plug the mic in and then I didn't know how to record the Zoom, but we got that. Hey, welcome to my office. Thank you. Thank you for having me in your office. I just have questions. I have questions, but you can ask me things too, of course. I will do whatever you want. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have content ideas? Do you have fears? Do you think that this is a bad idea? Do you think that this is a good idea? <laughs> okay, realistically, I think we should talk about feeling. We should talk about like growing up and figuring out the things we've figured out so far, which aren't that many things, but also significant. In terms of content, you're a funny girl. I'd love to see some sketches from you, honestly. They're a little more effort, but I think sketch comedy would be really good for you. People love just living vicariously through YouTubers. They love it. It's weird. Like, you just go <laughs> through my comments, people are just saying, I love just seeing you be yourself on camera. Be relatable by just... Vicariously through YouTubers. That's... Oh, that's not... Uh, not something that you want to do. Being honest. I mean, you can really do anything. I would say just start with content that you're, like, excited about that you actually want to make. Like, if you want to do a gaming video, like, you'll be stoked about that. If you want to do crafting videos, you'll be stoked about that. I think a lot of the... Alright, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a short version and a long version. Because it's... Right now, there's not, like, content. And this whole thing is 21 minutes. It's 21 minutes and 34 seconds. And if she's just doing this in 21 minutes and 34 seconds, I don't know if I want to keep watching. Okay, like I'm, uh, I think it's because like halfway, like I'm, I'm kind of excited. You know, she's kind of cute, and and uh, and it's like as it, okay. When I say excited, I mean like I'm excited as far as like what's like what's going to happen next you know just kind of like curious um and then on the other hand i i can't i can't i can't believe i'm saying this and i i don't like that i'm saying this but i'm like i'm waiting for the screw up like and that's fucked up that it, it's extremely fucked up but you know you remember the whole the whole thing where she's like uh fuck all white white men or something like that 
along those lines, paraphrasing, I'll bring the video, insert it here, you can see it. So earlier this week, USC Annenberg's inclusive initiative released findings that 67% of the top critics reviewing the 100 highest grossing movies in 2017 were white males. Less than a quarter were white women and less than 10% were unrepresented men. Only 2.5% of those top critics were women of color. So you're probably thinking right now, like, wow, that super doesn't represent the country that I live in, and that's because that's true. This is a huge disconnect from the US population breakdown of 30% white men, 30% white women, 20% men of color, and 20% women of color. On top of all of this, am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. But what I am saying is, is that if you make a movie that is a love letter to women of color, there is an insanely low chance a woman of color will have the chance to see your movie and review your movie. Other people besides white dudes like Star Wars and would love the opportunity to do a set visit. And I'm also saying I don't hate white dudes. I'm just saying we need to be conscious of our bias and do our part to make sure that everyone is in the room. Good reviews out of festivals give small independent films a fighting chance to be bought and seen. Good reviews help films gross money. Good reviews slingshot films into awards contenders. A good review can change your life. It changed mine. We are expanding to make films that better reflect the people that buy movie tickets, but they are not allowed enough chances to read public discourse on these films by the people that these films were made for. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. I want to know what that film meant to women of color, to biracial women, to teen women of color, to teens that are biracial. And for the third time, I don't hate white dudes. Um, so, yeah, um, my, I'm going to give my thoughts. And if you want to watch the longer version, I'll have that up. But basically... I kind of want to see where this goes right now. Um, I think uh, why this should want to make a YouTube channel, I don't know. And I, she, she hasn't really uh, specified except for getting her ideas out there. Uh, but that was like at the beginning of the video. And so seeing her like do all this, I think it's pretty cool as far as like c contacting like other creators and stuff like that, like, man, I got real excited. Oh man, when I saw Swoozy, fucking damn, he's fucking awesome. But I don't really know anybody else here except for I, Justine. And then no, like everyone, everyone fucking hates Superwoman. Just an ass load of people. So I don't, I don't know what, you know, um, how this is going to go. I'm curious if she's going to have like more creators that like aren't as, uh, I'm curious to know if she's going to have a YouTube channel with open discussion or if she's going to have a YouTube channel with more people like her. That's, that's what I want to see. If she, if she invites open discussion, that's going to be awesome. I think that's going to be great. But if she doesn't, and we hear a lot of liberal views, you know, I mean, we, we've seen how liberals have gone about things so far, you know, with the riots, getting rid of the police and uh, no guns as well. Um, so I want to know what's going to happen with this YouTube channel. And I want to know like her thoughts from here on out and how well this goes. She's gotten about like six, mm, 65, um, six, 650,000 views. Golly, I can't. Anyway, so that's it. That's all I have to say uh, for right now. Um, if you want to watch the longer version, you can. And I might say something else later. But. I'll end it here. For those of you in the short version, have fun. I will see you guys in the next video.
like celebrities get like dehumanized in some way, but it's like, there are those things that we all can relate to. What are your hobbies? I have a garden that I'm really proud of. Exactly, exactly. Look at my lettuce. What? Exactly, like that's, oh my okay, God. that's freaking, I didn't like actually think it was gonna be like beautiful <laughs> lettuce, but okay. like, that's okay. I have beautiful lettuce. That's exactly, so okay, exciting. even you just going and like having a little fun, like playing with them and then like making a salad is like, I don't know, maybe I should have watched that. <laughs> I will have one for you, you and it will be yours. But I've always wondered why huge celebrities, we don't see peaks into the behind the scenes of their projects. And not just like the, I'm on set, no, it's your emotions while shooting. You're a human too. Like, what are the ups and downs of shooting a, a movie that takes so many days and so much of your effort? I have loved watching your videos so much. I love to craft and I'm like, looking at my bar. I love craft too. It's here in McPherson and it is the best coffee shop I've ever like been to as far as atmosphere, stuff like that. Sorry. I, I, I just had to say that, you know, since, since I'm here. Backdrop right now and looking at your backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> did you make your backdrop yourself? I did. So I made like a little series on painting like the big wave thing across the wall love and everything. It. Redecorating. Oh, People man. love just like being a part of the process. So, oh, okay. fuck Here's yeah. Here's your first DIY video, making your oh, backdrop too. It gives me pumped for like some good sad. shit. People love a before and after, you know, a good before and after transformation. I do too. I really. I plan on, I plan on putting a green screen back here. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the window, but I'm gonna figure it out. But my plan is to basically get a Lego Star Wars like set. And it's supposed to be as if I'm like literally sitting, you know, in the Lego Lego set. I'm, oh, I'm so fucking pumped about that. I really do too. Paint the back like Bob Ross. I'm gonna scrape the whole wall and make mm. happy mountains. <laughs> happy mountains, happy trees, yeah. happy mistakes. <laughs> the things that people know you from are things that perform really well. I'm sure it's literally just a video of you showing your workout, which may or may not be interesting content to you, will perform well. And it's kind of finding that balance of what videos are gonna perform well and hit that audience already I already have. And then how can I warm them up to the idea of maybe I'm gonna do a short film that I produce by myself and direct. Just you being you and us getting to know you more on a personal level, I think that's just so exciting. And I think that's why people love watching YouTube. Like when I watch YouTubers, I love watching people who are just themselves and you know, you're like, oh my gosh, we're, we're all the same. The first advice I could give you is find whatever thing is that you truly love to do, you know? It doesn't have to be something crazy, you know? If you love golf, you know, make videos about golfing. If, if you love making <laughs> muffins, make videos about making muffins. Like, as long as you do anything that, that you love doing, your audience is gonna really enjoy through your joy what you're doing try new things try crazy things have fun with it you're so directly connected to the people that are watching you'll have like the free larson youtube channel those people are subscribing to free larson and they're gonna root you on and like what you do and you just gotta feed them with the free larson content that they need i think we should definitely do something where you recreate a makeup look i think that'd be fun oh yeah i love how transparent and honest you are and you always have been since i've known you sometimes to a point where I don't even want to know, but you, you know, <laughs> it comes with the territory. That's fantastic. <laughs> you make warming up a tortilla interesting and fun and delicious all the same. <laughs> <laughs> warming up a tortilla with brie. Cooking's very oh. popular on YouTube. Wow, it seems like you know a lot about YouTube. <laughs> Do you use YouTube a lot? No, no never. <laughs> I just looked it up. <laughs> you just looked it up over this call? Wow. And what did you click on? Like, what is YouTube? And what is popular on YouTube? No, you did not. <laughs> is, is grandma there? Does grandma want to come on? I'll grab her real fast. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Welcome. Bonnie. Oh, hi. Hi, Julie. How are you? <laughs> You're on YouTube right now. Well, congratulations to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any ideas of videos? You mean of the family or of you or <laughs> maybe, you know, a cousin soccer game you could cover. Well, I don't have Oh any perfect, yeah. Before. No, she's making the videos, Mom. Oh, she's making the videos. Yeah. Anything else, Grandma? Any other ideas? 
I will think about it, and if I get some ideas, I will text them to you. Okay, perfect. What do you love? <laughs> well, that's the thing. There's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I love, but I guess, really? am I supposed to pick one thing? Like, am I only supposed to be muffins? Well, that's, you can do golf and muffins and go-karts. That's the beauty of internet, you know? There's no limitations. No one's gonna tell you yes or no. There's no auditions. There's no auditions. I really, oh man, I hope she has, oh, 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 fuck yeah, she does. Damn, okay. Holy shit, oh my god, she has like everything here, that's fantastic. All right, and then some stupid, uh, um, you know, it's just, <clears throat> okay. All right, yeah. That was sarcasm, by the way, for the stuff down here. But you know what? She has everyone else, and I I got to check out Susie. I really do. Susie 06. Damn. I miss Why didn't I do this sooner? This Why didn't I do this sooner? I auditioned for Solo. Fuck. I auditioned for Star Wars 2. How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know about that. We want to hear those stories. This oh, is a very good idea. Fuck. Because, like, I auditioned for Hunger Games. I auditioned for the Terminator reboot. No, what? Um, I actually was thinking about the Terminator reboot today because I got a flat tire. And I was like, oh, the last time I got a flat tire was when I was driving into my audition for Terminator. Oh. Got a flat tire at the audition and then didn't get the job. Oh. What kind of videos are you going to make? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Well, what are your top three like favorite things? I love talking to people. I love learning. I love food. I love video games. Me too. What do you play? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, mostly Nintendo. Um, really? You do too? What do you have? My Switch right here? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna grab my Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Okay, oh my god. Oh shoot, it's my oh I think mine's downstairs. Oh god, where's my Switch? I got mine. I hear that. Well, oh, we're gonna have to oh my gosh, it's so cute! Do you play Animal Crossing? Yes, I have over 560 hours. I what? Uh, okay, I'm getting way too excited and giddy over this. Um, but I'm, yeah, I, I think I've said it all before. I'm curious to know where this is going to go. Uh, I follow iJustine and I follow Suzy, so that's probably why I'm just so fucking psyched. But anyway, I, uh, yeah, I'm just, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what she says. Um, I'm extremely curious. Did it. That was it. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.